It's really strange having a serious conversation with you. Why? Dressed as a referee. I know, I know. I look like a... It's a lanyard that does it. <laughs> does it? it? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely murders me. It makes me look like a teacher instantly oh. doing drills, you know, like... Okay, let's... Uh... <laughs> Follow me. Follow me. Yeah. Not juggling? Yeah. No, it's dangerous. What's popping? Jamie. Today is an expansion vlog. Expansion? We're talking about expansion. Um, I expanded my jeans earlier. <laughs> you did expand your jeans earlier. My balls are hanging out in JD's boots. <laughs> is that where you want it, is it? Let's go somewhere quiet. Come on, come on, let's get in the boardroom. Let's get in the boardroom. Uh, basically, I want to understand about a bit about the growth of the business. There's lots of stuff that we're doing at the moment that's more long play, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we're trying to make sure that we're bulking out the community growth and the content that's going to be going on there. So a lot of the recruitment we've got on one side of the business is all to do with content strategy and growth uh, across our communities. And then the other side is to fill in sort of on revenue. So it's mm -hmm. that cycle, isn't it? You want to drop in revenue and then you want more work, more original and, and more branded content. You sort of keep doing that. I always hear this like phrase like, don't grow too quickly. What does that mean? Growing quickly is fine, mm. as long as it's part of the plan and you've got a strategy to back it up. Um, I think that sort of phrase comes into play, um, don't grow too quickly in a negative sense, is when people just grow for the sake of growing. Mm. You know, they see a lot of revenue, they start adding roles in without any real strategy. I think it's fine, we're planning for it. You know, there's a lot of revenue generating roles coming in, which mm -hmm. is a safe bet for us. Yeah. Um, but equally, you always get to that point where you've got to start adding roles in that don't necessarily give you that instant return in terms of monetary value, mm. uh, but we definitely raise other areas like culture, you know, people's happiness and stuff like that. Please tell us about Old Travel Man and the documentary we did. So um, we had a, a clip sent in when, he, when the incident initially happened, basically he hadn't been paid, it, it, you know, it tipped him over the edge and he ended up driving a digger for travel lodge causing like half a million pounds worth of damage, yeah. something along those lines. He's now been sentenced to five years in prison uh, and we thought everybody loves their opinion on our page. So mm. we went uh, with Jordan and uh, the original team went out to Birmingham, mm -hmm. found some builders and asked them their opinions. As far as actually driving a digger through the shop, mm. not so sure. Might have been a little extreme, I think. So a lot of people were saying he should have got sentenced because what he did was wrong, like could have killed someone, half a million pounds worth of damage. But five and a half years is a long time. Which I think that's really harsh. I mean, yeah. Uh, you got a new starter today? I've got a new starter today, yeah, Felicity. Felicity, what's she going to be doing? Uh, she's going to be a client partner uh, yeah. with a focus on on a budget. Okay. You know, on a budget's changed a lot in, in, in the past sort of uh, three or four months in terms of the size of the Facebook page. Uh, we're now over half a million followers on there. It's mm. grown by about 100,000 a month. And having the, the channel at such a size means that we can put video through and, and, and uh, guarantee certain levels of views, which is phenomenal to be able to do that. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Fliss, um, and I'm new to Electric House, day two. Yeah. I'm going to be a client partner for the On A Budget. What do you love about the On A Budget groups? They're mental, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, very busy. Like, They're so busy? Yeah, people are posting all the time, but it's really interesting, and it's something I'm interested in as well, so yeah. it's quite cool to look through. Cool. Enjoying it. I'm going to let you uh, be, awesome. and I uh, hope you enjoy your week. Thank you. What's your, like, the most memorable like first start you've had? It's very difficult to single one out, Jamie, because mm. that would be favouritism. But one that, are, um, that I could probably form a story with is... Um, go with Abby. Abby was our first employee coming in to manage a community. 
that is predominantly male, um, you know, quite forward. The industry is, they don't really care what they, they say. Mm. So I knew it was going to be difficult for her, but she absolutely smashed it. And over the last three, three and a half years, she's gone from this quiet 18-year-old um, apprentice mm. to an award-winning head of social and runs her own team. That would be my story, Jamie, because I'm very, very proud uh, of Abby. Sorry. It's really strange having a serious conversation with you. Why? Dressed as a referee. I know, I know. I look like a, it's the lanyard that does it, does it? it? Yeah. absolutely murders me, it makes me look like a teacher instantly oh. doing drills, you know, like, okay, let's, uh, <laughs> We've obviously built an amazing culture around here, yeah. to the point where you've built an office around culture, yeah. like pool table, bar and everything. Yeah. And we're talking about hiring those people, so how do we keep that as we grow? You've got to be able to give people fulfilment in what the role is. So it's about giving people accountability and autonomy, mm -hmm. which then provides fulfilment and then should provide uh, the business with the output it needs in order to you know, perform at a high standard, but mm -hmm. also give people the flexibility and autonomy to sort of manage their own time and utilize the space and the culture. But I think it's the, the bit that we've got good at the minute, oh, I think, is the togetherness bit. No one cracks culture, end off. It's, a, it's an ever-evolving entity that you can't touch, but you can feel it. Yeah.